like and subscribe to our channel so you can follow what's going on with our beehives. And we're really excited to add this to our farm. Okay, so you wanna see our bees? Hold on, ready? These are our first set of honeybees. And these are Italian honeybees, which means that they smell like basil. They're, they're not really from Italy, they're just, this is a breed of honeybee. Yes, they're Italian, but they're not really Italian from Italy. They came from California. So we're gonna get our bee suits on. We're gonna put the bees inside of the beehive. I was curious if you guys didn't care about the cameraman because I do not have a bee suit. We are fully protected. Oh. Mike, on the other hand, has a coat. <laughs> You'll be fine. You'll be fine. The cameraman's fine. Okay, bee water, because right now it's cold and there's not much for them to forage on. And a little fun fact is they actually will travel about five miles to get pollen and food and forage, five miles. But we're giving them a head start with some sugar water and our trusty bee pollen patty, which is basically pollen and a bunch of other good stuff. So they're gonna have a little head start Stuff. So these are our flower replacement yes, items. Yes, pollen. So the pollen, the sugar water, this gets them through until, you said the dandelions, dandelions. start, right? When dandelions okay. pop, we start kind of not feeding sugar water as much, letting them do their natural thing. So we're going to take off the top, and then this is? The inner cover. Okay, inner cover. And then inside of here are all of the... Frames. Frames. Yep. With This has like a pre combed like plastic insert but it also has a scent to it because it's not just plastic so they're right. they will want to stay in here the pollen patty is going to be right on a corner right on top here what Micheline told me when we were going through this before is some bees are very picky and like these have to be exactly the same distance apart otherwise they like won't go down one since they're my bees, they're gonna be super picky, probably. No oh, Mike, friends. these are like bee snacks. Yeah, yeah, snacks. Yeah, it's like snacks, just for the bees. Okay. On your side, on my side, that's perfect. All right, got it. Okay, so. All right, so everything is in here. We got, this is where their sugar water is yep. gonna go. This. this is where the little hole is that they go inside. They go in here, and they can also get in the top, so either way. Whether or not this wants to come out nicely. Sugar water travel. Style is out. The queen is in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shake these off. She's got a longer abdomen. Huh. So whenever we're looking for a queen, she looks completely different, just sheerly with size. These are the worker bees, the females. They're most important in the hive. And then the queen, obviously. Mm -hmm. And then there's gonna be drones. Right now we have about 3,000 bees right now. And by the end of the season, we we could have upwards of ten to fifteen thousand wow. in this hive. Okay. So the so the queen is in this little container with a cork, and we took the cork out, and we put a marshmallow. The worker bees are going to eat their way through the marshmallow, but it gives them time to kind of to like acclimate other. into the beehive first. So like if we just let the queen out, there's a chance that they would all just fly away. So we want them to stay in here. We want the queen to stay in here. So it, it's like a time release almost for the queen so that she can establish the fact that they're all gonna be in here versus fly away. So we're gonna actually keep her in here. I always like to use um, like a flat tack just because I don't want her to fall onto oh, just the bottom. In case. And so as long as she's in here, they, they won't want to go away. Yeah. You have to give them a little bump and it pulls them to the bottom and then they're gonna be dumped out of this. Ready? Bump and pour, I'm ready. Bump. All right. Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah. Shake this way, that way. I'm doing it! Yes! I haven't been stung yet! <laughs> Tonight, you guys collect this. Don't leave it out. Because we don't want them to live in there. No. So we'll take it, when, when all the bees get out of there, we'll get rid of it. So we'll just kind of go down here. The queen is in here. They are happy. There's like 3,000 bees in there. Okay, all right, here, let me put another. Okay, watch out, guys. All right, last one. Everything's spaced correctly. Okay, can you get it close so you can hear? Can you hear the bees? That's a happy hive right there. 
put it on this corner or this corner, whichever corner you wish. Do we need to remove the, there was like stuff no, on it. No, they eat through this, it's just uh, wax paper. They'll oh, eat okay, right through it. it to get to it. It looks like, um, like soft caramel. Stay inside. Okay, so inner cover. See the little hole on the front here? So they can go through this or they can go through here and the top is loose or it kind of like, see it, it has some give to it so they can get up under it and in. So this is our sugar water dispenser. So all we got to do is turn this thing upside down and then there's a little hole here for them to get in and out. There's a hole up under here for them to get in and out, except right now they're going to spend most of their time in the hive. We'll right? do more videos to show you yeah. what's next, but this is bee install day. The bees are in the home. Now they need to stay there. We'll come back and we'll revisit like step two. So once these guys get in here, once they get established, once they're all happy and they've started to kind of colonize inside of their home here, then we'll come back and we'll go over what the next steps are, which is really, really exciting. So don't forget, like and subscribe below, and then we will keep you updated on our beehives and how they're doing.